in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed we live in a world today where people are proud, uh, they feel ashamed of process. If you come and meet me in a one room with my Bible and my candle and I'm praying and reading a book, usually I'll be afraid and ashamed. And so I will lie and tell my friend, can you borrow me your house so that I will give a narrative that I'm making it? No, the Bible did not leave us in the dark as to the fact that people can rise. And can I tell you this? Let men laugh while you rise. They will be the witnesses the day you rise. They will be the ones who tell people, no, 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 minus this person. We knew him. We saw him when he started. Make up your mind that there is no living a fake life anywhere. Don't borrow any money to go and buy clothes and buy this and buy a car. That debt is killing you. Your mindset is cooperating with Satan to bring you back. Punishing yourself in cycles simply because you want to give a narrative that you're successful you can find rest god's way one last time let me act your journey right now for some of you you have gotten to level one some of you are already millionaires but that's not all god wants to do some of you are billionaires but that's not all god wants to do can i tell you this until you get to a point where you can give to the kingdom without inconvenience you are not yet there So as I kneel to pray, as I come for koinonia every week, let me tell you what is happening to you. Week one, week two, you don't look like it. Week three, all that falling, you are falling under the anointing, you stand up and feel your wivon fell out. Don't worry, don't worry. This is what is happening to you. I know you are laughing, but take seriously what I'm saying. You are listening to the word of God. Others are sleeping. You are awake praying. You are studying materials. All because you want to build your mind. A day will come. You will see people's prayer requests coming to you. You didn't remember praying for them. But you fulfilled the Lord that brought them. They will come so close to you. You will drive them and they will not go away. A day will come, you say, God, these cars are enough. Just when you are saying it, a call will come and somebody will say, God told me. And God says, I can't stop. You are obeying the law. I must back it. Please do not think what you are hearing is some entertainment from a preacher. No. I fear God too much to come and waste your precious time here. Alabara. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichu. You are the glorious God. Allah Bara. You are the mighty God. Hey, Lato Bichu. You are the glorious God. Please go back one last time, gentlemen. Watch this. This was what God told me many years ago son do not worry about these things focus on my principles that what you could not eat then you will eat it tomorrow the first crusade that we went to they were less than maybe about the size of our worship team here can you imagine praying and fasting for weeks as if you would die only to get to the crusade ground we were in debt. The same ladies who were in the welfare were in the worship team. They climbed trees to pluck firewood for us to cook before they went to sing. But it was only our bodies that were there. 
powerful crusade and i said lord someday nations and kings will come transformation in partnership with the word of god will take us there and today to him be the glory and this is only one step out of the cave can i tell you this do not feel embarrassed by the inconveniences that you may see right now stop faking it stop roaming around getting angry and feeling this person should have helped me the fact that they cannot remember you means you are not walking by this law there is a level that when you get to your helpers must remember you so you see that it was only the body of joseph that was in that prison joseph knew i'm sure joseph was comforting them and they were saying joseph what is the basis of your confidence you are a prisoner like us he said no it is only my body that is with you when i get up i will make sure that i favor you and in one night no here is the fallacy of saying people just came out of nowhere no they rose to match where their minds have always been just because you did not see their training process does not mean they were not trained you might be a politician here please hear me you are starting as a local government chairman but your level of kingdom and mental transformation is the mindset of a senator a mindset of a president a mindset of an ambassador can i tell you the truth it will be impossible for you to remain in that position i don't care what party you are the force that backs this law is so powerful that no institution on earth sustains the power to stop an individual who fulfills this law this is true so the lord is telling you right now why is it that in spite of the fact that i'm getting money i'm not doing anything you are focused on getting not growing the first law i'm teaching you this night i can't believe we've spent so much time on just one law next time you rise and someone says you are just lucky tell the person please sit down i have a few things to tell you out of a heart of love and comfort it is not luck it is understanding are we blessed one last time never forget this teach your children teach everyone you know you are a ceo gather the people in your company and tell them stop complaining about the money you are receiving the money you are receiving is not all i am paying it is what your mindset instructed me to pay you the day you rise the instruction will change let this be your destiny in the name of jesus that by growth by growth everything that you are looking for today by growth when it comes by growth you are not afraid because everything will grow together are we blessed gentlemen god bless you i really appreciate you let's celebrate them let's give them a big has someone learned something today packaging without mental upgrade will only lead you to frustration you will give a narrative you will not have the transformation to defend are we together You cannot claim you're a millionaire and then mama will ask you for 10,000 and you are talking stories. You are not there. Simple. By faith you are there. In the spirit you are there. But physically, if you are not there, be patient and walk with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Focus more on becoming than doing. You will do, but let it come after you have become. Your physical environment will gradually and eventually reflect the true state of your mindset. Your physical environment will gradually and eventually reflect the true state of your mindset. I don't have the time and I think I've taught it here. How the mind is renewed. You must have access to superior word-based ideas and information. The first way to upgrade your mind is access to superior word-based information. 
teachings like this that come to challenge status quo and to build you number two repetition of those ideas until conviction is established hearing once will not bring transformation you must hear again and again can i tell you there are teachings and materials i was sharing with the school of ministry student i stand before the god of heaven and i lie not there are materials i have listened to more than six thousand times one material the goal is not for information the goal is for transportation into my mind until it becomes true number two are we still here so the first law is the law of mental transformation the second law that commands wealth and abundance in this kingdom physical law is called the law of value please write it down the law of value your value is a measure of your skill your gift your abilities whether acquired or inherent your value is a measure please write it down your value is a measure of your skill your gift your ability whether acquired or inherent proverbs 18 and verse 16 your value is a measure of your usefulness to the marketplace usefulness not to destiny it is a measure of your usefulness to the marketplace the marketplace is a mystery it's not just talking about a market like your shop or mall or whatever it is a marketplace is the name given to the platform where demand and supply meet it's called the marketplace so your value is a representation of your usefulness to the marketplace write this down your value is also a measure of your ability to solve problems and provide solutions don't put a full stop just write please be patient you are learning something for your destiny your value is a measure of your ability to solve problems and provide solutions that are needed and useful please underline needed and underline useful within the context of a civilization let me take it again your value is a measure of your ability to solve problems and provide solutions that are needed and useful solutions that are needed and useful within the context of a civilization that means your value must be needed and useful to prosper you just because it is value does not mean you will prosper that value must be needed and it must be useful you have that down write this please your value decide who pursues you and who rewards you your value decides who pursues you and who rewards you this is very important because you want to live a rewarded life and now we are learning that in addition to your mental transformation your value a measure of your problem solving ability decides who pursues you and who rewards you we get paid and rewarded for bringing value to the marketplace we get paid and we get rewarded for bringing value to the marketplace africa wake up nigeria wake up these superstitious ideas we have about wealth to believe that all we need to do is just to drop seeds as important as it is and our lives will magically transform into transgenerational wealth those teachings may have come from well-meaning people but it is not accurate based on the authority of scripture and the wisdom we glean from those who have that result value we get paid and rewarded for bringing value to the marketplace write this down you must discover and develop problem solving skills and abilities if you want to prosper you must discover and develop 
problem solving skills and abilities if you want to prosper superstitiously hoping that you will become a millionaire that you will be blessed just like that may not get the job done you must discover and you must develop problem solving skills and abilities thank you jesus write this down please become a master at providing solutions and you will never be ignored become a master at providing solutions and you will never be ignored all of these sentiments that come using tribe religion gender age they only become issues when your value is not needed and useful and when you have not invested in yourself to discover and develop the moment you discover and develop your value under normal circumstances you will veto the sentiments of gender sentiments of religion sentiments of whatever it is most people who are willing to pay you are desperate for results they don't really care whether it's a male hand or a female hand that provides that result the moment you are able to solve that problem can i tell you this look up please if a billionaire's daughter is about to die he does not care whether it is a muslim's hand that operates her to heal her whether it is a christian's hand whether it is a 30 year old hand or a 60 year old hand let the hand just have the ability to make sure that person is healed and the rewards will come there are we together now someone who wants to design an estate and is ready to invest billions in it he does not care whether the person who does the architecture is a female is a male is a, a, a whatever it is is young or old the moment you have the competence and the value to be able to deliver that results this is why you find out that in places like europe and china you have young boys who some of them have not even gotten to teenage and yet they are doing all kinds of things around the world because rewards answer to value rewards don't answer necessarily to age rewards don't answer necessarily to gender they answer to value whoever is solving the problem is the one who will receive the rewards are you learning this is very powerful the law of value make up your mind that you will never be ignored in your world not by trying to look for a name for yourself be too valuable to be ignored there are 7.6 billion people across this world and growing but there are certain people around the globe who are called authorities across several areas and several sectors is that true there are associations literally that determine who will come to what dimension and what state because of the level of value that they have to provide no matter where you are around the world if you must attain that level of result it will not be by ignoring them may you become that kind of person oil is valuable to Nigeria and Africa and to the world go to the places where they mine oil in this nation and you watch the rigor and the activities that go on there when you see oil coming is a is a dark smelly paste that is slippery it's not something you should desire and yet nobody runs away from it because we have learned by experience that as dark and as smelly as it is it is what literally controls the wealth of nations are we blessed There is no market I know that does not have patronage. Whether the market is in the bush, whether the market is close to the road, once it is the market day, you will see everybody finding their way to go there. Value. There is something to be bought there and there is something to be sold there. Watch this. There are people who go to meet herbalists and occultists for power 
or position or whatever it is and do you know that people can get up from here and go anywhere around the world and even several places in this nation you can get to a place and have at least a rickety looking man who is sitting down in a smelly hut he will tell you turn back and you will turn back keep your jeep there and walk on barefoot look at all the sacrifices that you, a man can go through with joy why because there is an assurance at the back of that sacrifice that you will get some political position or maybe your company will receive some contract everybody say value it is my prayer for you that you will be so valuable that whilst you are sitting down many people's prayer requests will be looking for you in Genesis chapter 41 let's hurry up in Genesis chapter 41 we'll read from verse 14 then we'll jump to 33 this was the story of jo of Joseph and Pharaoh remember Joseph interpreted the dream in Egypt and Pharaoh sent and called Joseph the Bible says and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh 33 having interpreted the dream he now began to use his value to prefer an economic solution to save the day now therefore let Pharaoh look out for a man discreet and wise it was a diplomatic way of saying Pharaoh I dare you go around Egypt and check if you will find somebody like me now let Pharaoh look out for a man discreet and wise and set him over the land of Egypt next verse let's hurry up let Pharaoh do this and let him appoint officers over the land and take up a fifth part of the land in the seven plenteous years uh-huh and let them gather all the food of those good years that come and lay up corn under the land of Pharaoh and let them heap food in the cities we're reading and that food shall be for store to the land against the seven years of famine which shall be in the land of Egypt that the land perish not through the famine and the thing was good in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of all his servants as a result Pharaoh said unto his servants can we find such a one as this may that be your testimony that everywhere in your office in your place of work in your field of endeavor that they will look around not from a competitive standpoint but from a standpoint of value they can say can we find such a one as this a man in whom the Spirit of God is what rewards that follow value and Pharaoh said to Joseph for as much as God has showed thee all this there is none so discreet and wise as thou art thou shalt be over my house and according unto thy word shall all my people be ruled it says only in the throne will I be greater than thou and Pharaoh said unto Joseph see I have set thee over the land of Egypt no interview no consultation no thinking about it no come back tomorrow the lifting power of value Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it upon Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck next verse he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had and they cried before him bow the knee to someone who 24 hours ago was a prisoner but valuable let me prophesy over someone here in the name of Jesus Christ for some of you before this week runs out on account of the value and the investment you have been making in yourself the Pharaoh that will send for you the Cyrus that will send for you I command that they must send for you and lift you in the name of Jesus Christ please sit down every blessed man is looking for valuable people nobody wants a liability and a nuisance in his place of work in his place of business stop bringing the issue of sentiments and say i have a brother somewhere he does not want to give me a job are you valuable there are many people who complain and say you are not giving us this contract will you do the job if given value is an enhancer of favor when you are valuable it is easy for favor to find expression in your life 
number three for sake of time we have to rush the third law physical law that is responsible for wealth and abundance is called the law of productivity the law of productivity productivity is the quality or ability to create make or enhance products and services productivity is the quality or ability to create make or enhance products and services the ability to create make or enhance products and services another definition productivity is the ability listen carefully this is my definition now the ability to refine and develop your value and then turn it into products and services that are needed and useful and then to serve it with excellence to a targeted consumer base i will take it again that productivity is the ability to refine and develop your value your value just like crude oil once it remains crude it is only potential it cannot bring you much you will need to refine it you will need to develop your value and then turn it into products and services that are needed and useful and then to serve it with excellence to a targeted consumer base hallelujah are we learning please look up if i use a fetcher and i look for any well around this environment and i fetch water watch this now and i use a white leather bag and i pour that water inside and i bring it to you as a dignitary i said this is my gift for you are you going to accept it if i tell you to pay 100 naira say for instance for that will you pay for it but the same water that you are rejecting and getting angry and and you feel insulted for being for for being served that water in a leather bag someone will process that water is the same water from the same source sometimes and package it in a very beautiful bottle and now give it to you and sometimes in a hotel you can pay as much as 2000 naira with joy what are you paying for it is not the water you are also paying for the refinement are we together now listen to me as powerful as value is your value may be sufficient for commendation but maybe not for reward you have to turn from value to productivity many gifted people in this nation remain bankrupt because they are not productive they are valuable i can sing but nobody will reward you because it is not yet refined i can preach but nobody will place a demand upon your grace because you've not packaged your value i can cook i can bake i'm a good speaker i have a very good argument for government all of that is just stories value as important as it is you must contend for productivity please shout it say productivity that means you must turn your value by development and refining into products and services that are needed and useful then you can serve them with excellence to a targeted consumer base are we together now yes a great friend and brother pastor nathaniel bassi one time he was sharing his story how that not not too many years before now he was in this same country and would sing with a good voice with grace and yet not be rewarded and honored the way he's doing now the difference was that he turned value or he moved past the step of value to productivity now you want to invite him for instance you must be willing to go through all of the logistics that you go through with joy why because you are not only bringing a man who is valuable you are bringing a man who is productive could this be why people keep commending you ah, madam your food is so nice and yet you are poor the day you make up your mind to now 
turn that value right from your kitchen now you begin to cook and find a way of packaging it and take it to somebody who has an influence over so many people and say this is just a seed for you to taste and the man says who did this you say you how long have you been doing this i've done this all my life okay i need 100 pieces of this by tomorrow you see that now god now positions your destiny helpers and in one month you're already cooking for kings it is only when you serve kings that you receive the reward of kings never stop developing yourself until you find out you are in the palace the palace is where the gold is the palace is where treasures are kept if you are serving gatekeepers and serving people thank god for that but keep evolving the day you see the king you can know that you have found rest you cannot receive the rewards of kings when you are outside the palace serve your way through excellence develop yourself whether you are in ministry some of you here are great men and women of god but you have not come to a point where you give yourself the frame that makes your value productive are we together the law of productivity when i found this it changed my life i made up my mind that i will invest in every aspect of my life and make sure that I continue to package my value and to serve it with excellence. Being valuable is not enough. Your value must be refined, your value must be packaged, and your value must be served with excellence to command a reward. Being valuable is not enough. Your value must be refined, your value must be packaged, your value must be served with excellence. To command a reward therefore tonight I encourage you to reject and fight mediocrity fight mediocrity like you fight Satan fight it out of your life it is the sponsor of a mediocre life is a sponsor of a defeated life fight mediocrity productivity requires exposure you cannot be productive until you are exposed Exposure means that you broaden your horizon beyond your current scope of sight. You have to be able to expand your mind and your thinking. Positive exposure is very, very needed if you will be productive. Productivity also requires creativity and innovation. You have to be creative, you have to be innovative. You have to be creative, you have to be innovative. write this down i thought to add this very quickly before we skip to the next area competence still about productivity competence and excellence are magnets attracting people resources and opportunities to your life competence and excellence are magnets attracting people attracting resources and attracting opportunities to your life competence and excellence are magnets please look up why do you go to a place like transcorp or any of the top hotels within this city and pay so much for a room or pay so much for a meal and sometimes the exact thing you are eating there are we together i was teaching the school of ministry students and we laughed over it that you can go to a hotel and just for a tiny cup of coffee you can pay three thousand whereas a shop just outside that hotel you can buy the coffee the spoon and the cup you will use for less than one thousand are we together because you are not just buying coffee you are buying the atmosphere too you are buying the excellence you are buying the competence you are buying the, the ambience the sense of honor everything is factored to make what would be 200 naira to become 3000 make up your mind to be productive make up your mind to be competent make up your mind to be excellent i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know
that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.